guys, welcome to channel Vidya Nagari. I am Sreyushi with Biology. You will find all the videos of Biology in playlist Biology NCRT Tip of Tongue. If you are watching our videos on YouTube, do subscribe our channel. You will find us on Instagram and Facebook. So do follow us there. And I would like to thank you all for all of your love and support. Today I am going to describing about Kingdom Protista. Kingdom Protista includes all unicellular eukaryotes they are primarily aquatic this kingdom protista is linker in between other kingdoms like plant kingdom animal kingdom fungal kingdom and they have a well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelle some have flagella or cilia they reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving fusion and zygote formation now under kingdom protista one class is chrysophytes chrysophytes includes all the diatoms and golden algae known as desmids they live in fresh water as well as in marine water they are microscopic and float passively in water currents and are known as plankton most of them are photosynthetic in diatoms cell walls form two thin overlapping shells which fit together as in a soap box so in diatoms we find the soap box appearance and these walls are embedded with silica and thus they are indestructible diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitats this accumulations over billion of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth so Diatomaceous earth is nothing but deposit of cell wall of diatom. This diatomaceous earth is gritty and so used in polishing and filtration of oils and syrups. Diatoms are the chief producer in the ocean. Now another category is dinoflagellates. Dinoflagellates are mainly marine and photosynthetic. Depending on pigment present in their cells, they are yellow green brown blue or red in color their cell wall has stiff cellulose plate on the outer surface most of them have two flagella one lies longitudinally and other transversely 
in a furrow between the wall plates. Very often, red dinoflagellates, example goniolux, undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the sea appear as red. This is known as red tides. Red tides is nothing but rapid multiplication of dinoflagellates like goniolux. Toxin released by such large numbers may even kill other marine animals like fishes. Now another group euclinoids. Euclinoids, majority them majority of them are live in fresh water found in a stagnant water. In state of cell wall, they have a protein rich layer called pellicle, which gives flexibility to their body. They have again two flagella. One short and other long they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotroph by predating on the other small organisms their pigments are identical to those present in higher plants example of this family is euglena now, if we consider about a diagrammatic structure of euglena, then it's their nucleus. This is eye spot. This is flagella. This is chloroplast. And this is their cytoplasm. Now another family is slime molds. Slime molds are saprophytic protistas. Their body moves along decaying twigs and leaves and thus they engulf organic material. Under suitable condition they form an aggregation called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet during unfavorable condition the plasmodium differentiates and form fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips the spore possess True walls. They are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions. Spores spread by air currents. Now protozoans. Protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites. They are four major groups named as amoeboid protozoan, flagellated protozoan, ciliated protozoans and sporozoans. Now amoeboid protozoans, they live in fresh water, sea water and in moist soil. They move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia or false feet as in amoeba. Marine forms have silica shells on their surface. Some of them such as antamoeba are parasites. Now the flagellated protozoans. Flagellated protozoans are either free living or parasitic. They also have flagella so they are named as flagellated protozoans and they are parasitic form is pathogenic example 
trypanosoma species which is responsible for sleeping sickness now the ciliated protozoans they are aquatic and actively motile because of the presence of thousands of cilia they have a cavity called gullet that open to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water and food mm, to be entered into the gullet example of the ciliated protozoans are paramecium now if we consider a diagram of paramecium so this is their macronucleus this is micronucleus food vacuoles cilia cytoplasm this structure is known as oral groove and this is their contractile vacuole now sporozoans sporozoans include variety of organisms that have an infectious spore like state in their life cycle most notorious is plasmodium plasmodium species which causes malaria a disease which has a staggering effect on human population student hope you will like my video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and do follow us on instagram and facebook thank you for watching